It's what we've all been waiting for all week. It's the Jim Fannin Show, and it starts now on News Talk 610 CKTB. This is the Jim Fannin Show on Niagara's News Talk 610. Call now, 905-688-2582, 1-877-610-2582, or text us at 610-10. Welcome. I am Jim Fannin. Thanks for checking us out. We're live every week right here from a quiet corner on a closed bridge at Yates Street in St. Paul West. It's the Jim Fannin Show. You got your digits. You know how to get in. 688-2582-1877-610-CKTB, pound 610. The Bell Mobility Network is free call. And as usual, the most efficient way to get into the booth is a text message. Not physically. Got a tight show today. Andrea Horvath announced we're going to election at 1 o'clock in the province. Not! She's going to continue to prop up the government. Now my take is it's going to go to 2015. I guess we'll find out if there's going to be a spring election soon. So today, we'll set up the show for you then at 12.15. We're going to talk to Chris Lowe's. In the Soil is downtown. He owns the Mate Cafe. Great feel last night. At the at the cafe in in downtown St. Catharines, so we'll talk a little bit about in the soil, how long he's been going at it with a new venture, the Burgoing Bridge. We're going to hit on that. How can we not hit on the Burgoing Bridge? And what's the deal? Uh, they tell me Louis Butko doing a great job, man, and tell me that it's open to pedestrians, but both the sidewalks are closed, so it's open to pedestrians. But what you have to walk down the middle of the street? Well, there's no cars on it, so that's fine. I'm confused. We're going to hit that. Jessica Wilson, we've been teasing this for weeks, is in the booth. She's playing some live bumper music. I joked, we tease, loving teasing. I'm not letting her play the friggin' pit bull tune. I'm so sick of that song already. And the only reason I have... uh, put it into my repertoire is because a buddy of mine's daughter is playing it and then she won my NC Crest con- uh, co- cover contest. That did not suck. So Jessica Wilson's going to play some bumper music for us. We'll bring her in at 1245 and get a little idea who she is and where she's at, where she's going. That'll be cool and we'll play some of her tunes in and out of the show today. Right after this we're going to get to Chris Lowe's. Oh, I just want to shout out to my boys at the NSO. And I've got, you know, I got a couple extra tickets for the NSO today at 2.30. If you want to go check out the Niagara Symphony Orchestra, wow. What a, a great natural resource in this region. Niagara Symphony or- Orchestra plays out of Brock right now, the Sean O'Sullivan Theater. Bradley Thatchuk yesterday conducted a masterful piece with some boys calling themselves the Sultans of String. Chris McCool we had on a couple weeks ago was epic. Kevin and Eddie on guitar, Drew on bass, and Alberto from Cuba banging a box. You've never heard a box sound so good. <laughs> so get some time with them yesterday. They had a really cool interaction with the kids on how to bring them into a symphony type of setting and uh yeah they brought the kids up on stage it was really well done and then the wrap-up was yesterday last night good to see rick dykstra out supporting the cause and the sneak peek of next year's calendar was yesterday i guess there was about 200 invited guests there board members sponsors and then tonight it's sorry today at 2 30 is their last show with sultans of string and if you want to go, i got a couple tickets. 905-688-2582. Alicia will take your call. She's running the board today. You want to text in. First caller or texter takes the tickets. We'll find a way to get up to you because the place is locked up today. On the way back, we're going to talk to Chris Lowe's, Mate Cafe. we got In the Soil going right now. He's been at it. 
Mate Cafe for a couple of years now. In the soil, started 2009. Got some streets closed. And Jessica Wilson on the way out. This is the Jim Fannin Show on 610 CKTB. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid No, I, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand, stand by me So darling, darling, stand by me Oh, oh stand by me Oh, oh stand, stand by me Stand by me If the sea that we look upon Should crumble and fall Or the mountains should tumble into the sea. Live from 28th Street in the Garden City, St. Catharines, this is the Jim Fannin Show on News Talk 610 CKTV. Call anytime. 905-688-2582. Toll free at 1-877-610-CKTV. Pound 610 on the Bell Mobility Network or 61010. And now, Jim Fannin. So darling, darling, stay. Stand by me, stand by me. If the sea that we look upon should tumble and fall, or the mountains should crumble into the sea. Welcome back. I am Jim Fannin. That is Jessica Wilson with me today is Chris Lowe's. Chris, tell me about what's going on downtown. you got the, all the streets closed. People are walking by. you got uh, vendors out on Garden Park Drive there yesterday, I saw. Uh, yeah, we were at uh, a great event. I personally don't have them shut down. Uh, the The folks from In the Soil, the In the, it's In the Soil is an art festival. Right. And this is the first year uh, they've shut down uh, two blocks of the of, uh, downtown streets. And I think it's made it a bigger and more happening and more energy festival because it's happening right out on the streets cool um and lots of different venues as well there's, there's uh it's uh spread out through the downtown core so we got in cafe in bars out in the street i saw a trailer yeah. backed up there or a flatbed or something with the yeah. man what a great uh diversity of talent in this uh, absolutely and, and i think um the festival itself is a real celebration of diversity in the arts. I'm, um, at our particular venue, we, we're uh, for in the show. We're celebrating visual arts and and of course music, lots and lots of music. But uh, the in the soil, in, in in its broad sense, is it, it has theater, visual art, sound really? art. Really? So it's not just music. It's not just okay. music. It is. Great. Um, it is broad in its base and uh, mm-hmm. and ever expanding, uh, for sure. Because this is, it, this is the first year they shut down two blocks, and they, they even have a Ferris wheel to make you. you know, <laughs> yeah, this is I a carnival of art. It's really basically. So, uh, no, we we tripped in yesterday. Really cool to see Shore thing there. They they did a nice job. Who else have you got? In, you got some people coming in today. You had Mike Lynch in yesterday. We had as well? Mike Lynch. He, uh, that was my first time experiencing the uh, Mike Lynch experience. I guess. Uh, uh, what's he, he like? Uh, he was fantastic. Great showman. Great performer. Sort of that old time uh, country uh, that's dear to my heart because my dad. I loved it so much, you know, that sort of Merle Haggard, right. George Jones sort of, you know, up there with a cowboy hat, and um, and it's a party. And he certainly spread the party through the whole cafe. Um, so, and then we and we had lots of music. Like you said, mentioned Short sure Thing. These, uh, these guys are really dear to our heart as well. Uh, they played the cafe a few times. Good They're answer. outstanding harmonizers. Um, Opened you know, up five for Aiden Miller, too, when they are in town. That's right, yeah. Town, yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yep. So, um, and we know that them personally. Uh, there was a couple other acts that we know personally as well. Uh, uh, Chloe Ribidoux, uh played there as well. And she's got a just a... Um, 
a wide, diverse repertoire of music. She's she's sang um, some jazz ballads for our Twilight Jazz series before, mm-hmm. and yesterday she was sort of doing uh, her take on some uh, more pop tunes. And then we had some out of town artists as well. So that, and that's what in the soil does. It has a lot, a lot of local talent, and then it brings a lot of sort of southern Ontario and um, uh, a few further abroad as well. Um, so it's it's a really diverse festival. Uh, and it's still going on today. So if you're not going to the NSO and you're looking for something to do, uh, it's all through downtown. And it's a beautiful sunny day out there. How do, how are you finding things downtown? As far as has the bridge affected you at all? The you bridge has not affected. You're us on the other side of downtown. Far. We're so. on the other side of town. It's sort of our day traffic is forced to come downtown. Mm-hmm. There are people that are working downtown, and then we're near the bus station. Uh, so a lot of the college and university students that use the cafe come that way, and. In, in the evening, as you know, uh, if we have an event, it, we're an event driven, and so you're going right. to come one way or another. So right. um, we're lucky in that way. So you've been going two and a half years. You've been open. We've been open. Mate Cafe. That is. How correct. do you describe that? It's we got a really kind of like a Toronto bistro feel to it almost. Yeah, yeah I th- you know, in, in some ways we're sort of like in the soil, but a little tiny here. Uh, we celebrate a lot of different art and music. You've been there for lots of music. We have a poetry slam once a month. We've had theater in there. We have an art gallery at the back that changes on a monthly basis. We sort of um, we feature a lot of emerging artists that way, and and we've had we've had theater and and literary events. We have a book launch uh, coming up next uh, month. Really? Yes. We have, uh, you'd be interested in the music. Uh, we have Harry Chapin's daughter going to be singing at the cafe. Um, a lot of people I mentioned to it, uh, the cafe sort of features a lot of um, younger students during the school year, and they look at me uh, wide-eyed at, like, who is Harry Chapin, but famous for Cats in the Cradle and uh, mm-hmm. the Silver Spoon sort of thing. So right. we're really excited. She's, she's a great performing artist on her own, um, but has that sort of activist background that her dad was so famous really? for. Really? Yeah. What so. date is she coming in? Um, I don't have, have an answer your for list. you that. Perfect. <laughs> we have Way a lot of dates. Way to self-promote. Um, Chris, what nicely done. Who's in today? Summer of 2014. Can you, can, can you get into who's in today? You got who's that on your... Oh, yes. Well, we have today. Um, two great local musicians uh, in the afternoon, uh, Rod and Ashley Standish. They're both in lots of different... Uh, they're a musical family, uh, husband and wife, and they're in lots of different bands as well, and they're playing. And then uh, tonight... Uh, we have a band called Rusty Water, which I always joke is if you're going to cast a movie of hippies, these are the guys that that's going to come for the casting call. Okay. And they have this great sort of ambient, groovy sound that you're just going to sort of bop. I guess on radio you can't see I'm bopping my head. You you bop your head. And then we have uh, six comedians on tonight. Um, is this your monthly show? This is our monthly so- show uh, okay. at last Sunday of the month. Uh, Laddie Laughs, we call it. Uh, okay. Um, and hosted by David Green, who's a well-known local comedian. Right. And uh, I think this month he's got a lot of out-of-town comedians as well. There's usually half and half, I guess. So. Okay. Saw so Bergsma there open uh, one of his shows. He Bergsma. Uh, Is he a regular contributor there? Place. Yeah, he's been there a fair amount of times for sure. Um, I would say he had probably the most high-energy show we've ever had there. Yeah. Uh, but I'm sure everywhere he goes, people say that he is a high-energy guy. Right. Chris Lowe is, is my guest. He's running Mate Cafe downtown. Where did the name come from? Uh, we are named after a South American tea called Yerba Mate. Um, and we, had, uh, we of course, we serve it. But the principles of the tea are what we at the cafe uh, embrace, being that it's, a, it's usually a communal drink. It's meant to be shared, build communities, often uh, drank as families or... Um, or small communities at the end of the day, and and it's shared. So one person would drink it, and then then um, it's it served in a gourd with a a straw that is perforated at the end, and it's loose tea. And one person drinks it, they pass it to the next, and they pass it to the next. And um, so that's what we wanted to be about. Uh, we didn't want to just plop down and say, "Oh, here we're here to serve coffee and great local beer and all that sort of stuff." We wanted to be part of a community, and we've been blessed to be uh, used that way. What are you What are you serving for beer these days? You mentioned oh, great local beer. Uh, that's a heart, uh, subject near and dear to my heart. Uh, I would have to say Oast. We always have uh, Oast House beer on top, and we always have their uh, their flagship Barn Razor, and then we have a rotating seasonal uh, beer from them. We also have uh, an Oast is, is of course from Niagara on the Lake, and then okay. we have Silversmith. Uh, we always have their Dark Lager, and they're a local and they're out of Virgil. 
then we have a gas craft uh, head, uh, which Bose beer, which I, th- I think you may have, have tried a few of them, yep. uh, which is another great beer. So I, I always joke that it's a great time to be a beer drinker in Niagara. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. Chris Lowe's owns the Mate Cafe. Get down there today, see some of the acts that he just promoted coming up in the soil. It's a great feel down there, and that uh, your lounge has got a really nice feel to it. And uh, I appreciate it. I mean, it started years ago, I think, when Pow Wow first came around. It, you know, I had the couches in the front window and stuff like yeah. that. And uh, so I really appreciate the diversity. And, uh, man, you always see a bunch of characters when you go in there. It's never a dull day in the Mate Cafe. But uh, free Wi-Fi. you got a lot yeah. of people hanging out on their laptops. You see a lot of Apple products in that place. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, there's a lot of apples for sure. Uh, and a lot of... Uh, it's a creative space. So as besides art and music going on we have a lot there's a lot of entrepreneurs we have a co-working group that meets there these are all guys and gals that are that have their own businesses or starting their own business and they're and they're dealing in that sort of creative culture and i and i and um i modestly say that that you know we're a part of that we've created a space that uh people like to create things in and uh you know great art on the walls great conversation it's uh you meet a lot of people there and there's a lot of these mate moments as i like to call them where um, people connect awesome chris Lowe, get down to see in, in the soil today take a cruise around drop in for a local pint at the mate cafe coming up can't not talk about this bridge oh it's all about the bridges today burgoing bridge is closed the original contractor the one the recoding for the East Main Street Bridge in Welland is suing for $1.3 million. And that didn't come to a shock, as a shock to, well, Andy Petrowski, it didn't shock. That's for sure. He predicted this. So we'll talk about bridges on the way back right here on the Jim Fannin Show on 610 CKTB. Oh, won't you please forgive me? I've done all that I could. Now I'm sitting on my old green couch wishing that I would have said that I'm sorry in a more romantic way cause all I want is for you to let me help seize your day hello my darling do you think it'd be okay if I climbed into that heart of yours and loved your life away oh love your life away oh love your life away Jim Fannin Show on 610 CKTV. It's going down. I'm yelling, Timber, you better move. You better dance. Let's make a night. You won't remember. I'll be the one. You won't forget. It's a bird, it's a plane Not just me, ain't a damn thing changed Live in hotels, swing on plane Blessed to say, money ain't a thing Club jumping like LeBron now Volley, order me another round Homie, we about to climb wild Cause it's about to go down Swing your partner round and round End of the night, it's going down One more shot, another round End of the night, it's going down Swing your partner round and round End of the night, it's going down One more shot, another round End of the night, it's going down It's going down. I'm yelling timber. You better move. Welcome back. I'm Jim Fannin. That is Jessica Wilson. And the song that won her Ryan Seacrest contest of covering Pitbull's Timber. I said I was going to let her play it. Well, one, because I'm pissed off that Camps and Lori and Haji. Went and ripped her off on me, scooped her, brought her into 105.7. She covered it there first. I had her booked first. I didn't book her just because she won the freaking contest. Booked her because she's a talent. And then the 105.7 crew went and 
jacked me. My guest, Jessica Wilson, will be in next to talk to us. But right now we're going to this this communication nightmare for the region, in my opinion. And I just want to give props to 610 CKTB and specifically management here. Uh led by Bob Harris and just uh, the GM and the program director, Sarah Cummings. You know, there's a couple things she set out on, and one was to champion this GO cause, and we teamed up with the GNCC. We're going to be broadcasting live from Niagara Week at uh, Queen's Park. And Sarah's possibility was just to, we are a leader in the community. We are where people go to break news. And I just happened to stumble across the fact that work had stopped on the foundation of the new replacement for the Burgoyne Bridge. I happened to be at a buddy of mine's up on Hainer Street there. He owns an income property. You know, just standing around having a beer with one of his tenants in the driveway. And his tenant says, "Uh, yeah, they stopped working on the bridge. And in fact, the contractors won't even walk across that bridge. So I'm thinking, well, that's kind of news, don't you think? So I did a little background work on it. I got it all the way through the contracting company up to the project manager. He was generous with me, but wouldn't give me a word as far as what was going on. He said, you got to talk to the region. So we did. We went to the region, and the official word was we're wrapping up the work on the foundation of the replacement for the Burgoyne Bridge because of Easter weekend. Well, that didn't run with me only because they quit work. 10 days before the Easter weekend. So that didn't seem like an authentic communication coming from the Niagara region. And in fact, the first time I spoke to the communications specialist there at the region, he said, well, I'll call you back. Then he called me back with the old, oh, we just wrapped it up for Easter weekend. So then, true to form, That was Good Friday. We broke that story here. And again, I got lucky and thought it interesting. And then Butko on the way to work on Sunday. Sorry, Lewis Butko, the news department here at 610 CKTB. Five o'clock in the morning. Guess what? Bridge is closed. He tweets it out. Well, I'm already up for whatever reason. Now I can't get back to sleep because the bridge is closed. I'm thinking, whoa, are they linked? You know why? Just because a media guy starts poking around, maybe is that why they closed the bridge? Still no communication from the region on it. So we're letting everyone know. It's not till 9 o'clock. I think that I saw some internal communication from Harry Schlang at the region. Oh, by the way, the bridge has been closed for five hours. Thanks a lot. And then the official word was, we're reinspecting the bridge to find out if there's stability problems with the soil. We'll let you know. But it's it's going to take us a couple days. A couple days turns into 10 days. Now, on the website, you'll see it's a developing story on the region's website. They're going with May 2nd. It's closed until at least May 2nd. We're now reporting. And it looks like there's no structural issues with the bridge itself, but then they want to do some more work and some more studies on the soil, on the stability of the soil. And props to 610 for being at the head of the story days before your St. Catherine's Sun Standard reports it. And not only that, in, an, in other bridge news, we broke that story as well. Andy Petrowski on the Kevin Jack Show right here came in to tell us that the region's been served a $1.3 million cl- statement of claim regarding the East Main recoding in Welland. Now, where does they tendered it? They awarded it. Then they, then they retendered it and reawarded it to someone else. And, of course, the first contractor that felt like they had secured the deal is suing, and rightly so. It's a $3.5 million job to recoat the bridge, paint, I guess. Sandblast and paint? It's a big contract. 
but I Facebooked there a couple of weeks ago. Where do you go for breaking news? Where do you go when the power's out? Do you go to the standard website? No. You come to 610. You turn the radio on. You stream us online. Not only are we probably the fastest to react to local news, but you can see people that are breaking news coming to us and saying, we want to break it with you. It's a pretty good place to be. So props to management. Sarah Cummings, program director here, doing a nice job of staying on top of things and identifying ourselves with good causes like the Go issue. Tommy's going to have some breaking news on this this week, I think, as far as the announcement, uh, Go announcement, at least coming to Hamilton, where that might be. And as the world turns... And he's since been getting a little bit of a slap down from the standpoint the chair and others are saying, uh, Andy, why don't you shut your mouth, please, about things that are pending in court? This is public information, though. He wasn't dry. Well, you know what I like about Andy, Andy Petrowski? Is you know those things are in the back of your head. It's like when you're driving in your car, it's the blind spot. You look, but you don't see it. It's like something right in the back of your head you can't see. It doesn't matter where you turn your eyes, you can't see it. Well, Andy has a habit of bringing these things in our blind spot and bringing it up front, right in front of your face, so that you can see it. Not only that, he tends to add a big old spotlight to it, too. (laughs) But these are things that we wouldn't know if it wasn't for guys like Andy Petrowski at the region. So props to the 610 team, props for Andy for staying on top of things and drawing our attention to things that don't look right. 905-688-2582. Take any thoughts you have on the bridge. If you have any, coming back from this break, we're going to talk to Jessica Wilson, find out who she is, where she's going to school, what she's up to. Does she have a job other than strumming that damn guitar? Can you make a living playing guitar at 16 years old? Right after this on 610 CKTV. Sitting there in your jean jacket, you think you're cool, but I have had it. That look in your eyes tells me you're cocky. In your mind, you think you got me. We don't talk, and I don't plan to come over there and get to know you. Sly as a fox, I know what you're thinking. Stare me down, you're barely blinking. It's just a game. Everyone plays. The wager's the same, but you haven't won today. 52 cards in a deck, but I'm not another number. Not a king nor a queen. My poker face lets you wonder. Play the ace full house and I go hard. But just to let you know, I'm not your average wild card. Wild card Not your, not your, not your wild card. A Just to let you know I'm not your average wild card. Live from 28th Street in the Garden City, St. Catharines, this is the Jim Fannin Show on News Talk 610 CKTV. Call anytime, 905-688-2582. Toll free at 1-877-610-CKTV. Pound 610 on the Bell Mobility Network or 61010. And now, Jim Fannin. Welcome back. I'm Jim Fannin. 
Sitting with Jessica Wilson is in the booth with me today, Jessica. Hi. How cool is it to win a contest like Ryan Seacrest's? It's amazing. It's incredible. I can't believe it. <laughs> now, I saw you at one point, you said, well, I don't know what I won. So what do you want? Just the pub? Well, yeah, for now, um, all my social media is up on a site, which has been great. Um, great support. I'm still getting waves of people, you know, emailing my site and tweeting me saying congratulations and it's great. So I'm really thankful for that. So your social media is still blowing up three weeks yeah, after? Still, it's, yeah, it's crazy. So you're on his site mm -hmm. and you're waiting for him to call up and say, hey, we're flying you down to... I hope so. That would be ideal. But even if nothing comes out of it, I'm I'm still in awe that I won. Awesome. Now, who are who do you kind of who's your mentor in music? Hmm. You know, who do you style yourself after? Who's who do you look up to? I mean, not fi official mentors, but who do you kind of look up to? Um. Well, I mean, Serena Ryder has always been a really big part of my musical life. Um, I really admire her as a Canadian songwriter. Um, I really like Katy Perry as well. And people always kind of roll their eyes when they hear that. But um, I really look after uh, her motivation and her dedication. Just um, overall, anybody in the industry who is true to their fans, um, stays true to their music, writes their songs, doesn't get somebody else to do it for them. Right. Um, I really respect just... Canadian artists too in the industry. Now, who are you playing with around the region? Who are you hooking up with musician-wise? Are you just solo? As of right now, I'm just solo. Um, lately, I've been doing the musical at my school, uh, West Side Story, so mm -hmm. I've been part of the cast there. But as for playing in cafes and bars and stuff like that, it's just myself and my guitar, sometimes my ukulele. Ukulele? <laughs> Holy, don't go any better around us. Clark Bitter, what do you want? Hi, Jessica. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm well. I'm so proud of you, and, and um, for those listening, Jessica played on our couch at Batter Up Fish and Chips a while ago during our Sunday Acoustic Series, and she was a delight to have there, and we've uh, promoted her and told everyone we could about her, and we're just really happy that your career is moving forward. What, what do you think's next for you, Jessica? I don't know. But first off, I just want to say thank you so much for, for helping me and promoting me and supporting me. I, I really hold that close to my heart. Um, wherever I go, who knows where the road's going to take me. But um, I'm just trying to stay humble and trying to get my own music out there. So hopefully I can uh, join you in another gig sometime soon. Yeah, well, Lisa and I both uh, follow you closely. And uh, we think that you're going to really uh, push forward the music scene here in in Niagara, and, and just another great example of uh, the arts and culture that we have here. Thank Maybe you so much. Maybe we could put a word in for, or down uh, to Karen Frazier there from Mo Mondays and get her in to play a gig there. I'd love sure. to. <laughs> Karen's yeah, probably listening, so maybe that's already done. So, <laughs> <laughs> thanks and for taking the call, again. Clark. Are you uh, are you predicting a springtime election? Um, I am. Yeah, I think. Um, you don't think Horvath will make a deal with Wynn and just get in their political bet again? Stretch it out to 2015? No? I don't think so. Um, I, I think a lot depends on uh, the budget, of course. And uh, Kathleen Wynne has already said that this budget is non-negotiable. It comes out and take it or leave it. And, uh, you know, I hope she pushes, Andrea Horvath pushes an election. Um, you know, with what happened with the OLG announcement with racetracks yesterday, Fort Erie doesn't look like it's going to move you know, there's issues there. Fort Erie, Windsor, and Sarnia didn't get deals. Uh, all the other tracks got five-year deals because they had slots. Mm. Um, Tom McConnell, I saw on Twitter yesterday, is predicting that a go train to Niagara announcement will come either on budget day or during an election um, due to a Lewis station tender being closed. Right. So... Uh, I mean, I'm happy to see that. And also, again, kudos to 610. Yeah, for staying and, on top of it. And you're going to be the candidate in Niagara Falls. What about St. Catharines? Are you telling me that Jennifer Meridian's not running again, or is she committed or not? Uh, at this point, I'm not sure if there is a candidate for St. Catharines. Okay. Anyone interested, um, go to the GPO website. There's a form there for candidate applications. Okay. GPO.ca. And um, I am contacting some people that uh, may be interested, may not be. But uh, be, uh, it's an interesting riding, being the Minister of Environment's riding, and um, local councillor Matt Sisko has already declared for the uh, Conservatives. So is Bradley. 
And, and if so Jenny tragic. Stevens comes in for the NDP, man, that's going to be an ugly election. <laughs> it should be an interesting race. Yeah, and I think that uh, a Green candidate should have a lot to say to the Environment Minister. Absolutely. Thanks for taking the time. That's Clark Bitter. He's formerly your candidate for the Niagara Falls riding for the last provincial by-election. I'm sitting with Jessica Wilson. <laughs> Jessica, what's next for you as far as getting your music out there? Distribution. It's got to be weird in this day and age. I mean, we see Lord becoming the next greatest sensation <laughs> from a SoundCloud post, yeah. honest to God. Mm. Are you using that type of thing, or do you need a manager? Do you need a, some big shot well, uh, opening act for some big <laughs> shot band, or what's the next thing? I'm, I'm As of right now, it's just me and my family that basically manage my music. Um, my single's on Bandcamp. Um, I do everything everything through my website, www.jessicawilson.ca. I have Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and you never know where social media is going to take you. Ryan Seacrest found me on YouTube um, on a cover I never even thought was going to be noticed by anybody. I made it mm. spontaneously one day, and uh, yeah, it's it's really hard to get your music out there. It's a really competitive industry, but if you do it right, and if you work social media and you have the right people behind you, then it's it's easier to get your stuff out there. So did you have to apply for Seacrest concert, or no. he just... He, he, he found me. Or, sorry, the contest. Yeah. He found oh, me. He was just looking for a cover of that specific song. You already had it up there? Mm -hmm, coincidentally. And then we got an email saying, we want to put it on the site. And I was like, what? What is happening? Wow. So it just went up, and here I am. And then and, and it went up on the site only after you won? You oh, no, even... it was up there the whole time. Okay. From um, I think there were six rounds. Right. It started back in the end, beginning of March. And then okay. it was up there for about a month, and then I was announced as the winner, and now it has its own little page and tab on his website. Tell me about when you found out. Where were you? You must remember this very clearly. Something you'll never forget. Type that of thing. I won? Yeah. I was, where were you? I was sitting in my fourth period um, technology class. And it came <laughs> at school? To my, yeah, at school. And it came to my phone. And my friend was sitting it beside me. It came to your me. phone by text? By Twitter. They tweeted me. <laughs> I was like, what? You're um, not supposed to have your phone open in class. What's it wrong wasn't, with you? It was, it was near the end of class, I promise. <laughs> um, it's technology class. I can have my phone. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got the tweet, and I just kind of dropped my phone, and I turned to my friend and I said, I think I just won March Music Madness. <laughs> and she looked at me, she said, what? And then I looked on Twitter and like 20 people had already retweeted it and like my family knew already within the first really? two minutes. My, my teacher, Miss Wild, I went to see her right after and she already knew and she called her mom and the word just spread like everywhere. Um, but it was really funny. Is it like winning the lottery? Do a bunch of... Uh so-called fair-weather friends coming out of the woodwork and say, hey, remember me? Remember how, how close we were in high school? We should get together again? Because now you got some pub or no? Um, I've had a few people kind of message me um, and say congratulations and stuff like that, but it's everybody always supports me, so it's it's nothing like winning the lottery. <laughs> Blowing up with personality. I don't know where you get that from. It must be your mother's side of the family. <laughs> Tell me about the influence of your father. He's in the music business mm -hmm. as well. So does, is are you self-taught? Does he kind of mentor you through the whole process? Do you um, come from his genes naturally? Well, I grew up in a household full of music. Um, he's helped me with guitar. I'm... Like, I started off self-teaching myself, and he helps me along the way. Mm -hmm. um, I actually started off with bass, and then I moved to guitar. He kind of inspired me to do that. Mm -hmm. But every now and then, he helps me with my bar chords and stuff like that. And he introduces me to people um, in the music industry, which is nice as well. So mm -hmm. he's, been, he's been with me along the way. And you're playing some live gigs as well? Uh, yes. You schedule, you got anything scheduled coming up? Well, as of right now, I, I'm just in my school's musical, okay. um, May 1st and 2nd. Um, at Well and Centennial at 7 p.m. And uh, my site has to be updated with, with new um, gigs. I can't think of anything right off the top okay. of my head right now, but I'm really excited to uh, start playing again. Usually the summer brings more entertainment in, so I'm playing on patios and stuff like All that. All right. Mm -hmm. How do we get a hold of you if we want to track you down? You're on Twitter, Facebook, and you know, Jessica Facebook. Wilson Music's on Facebook. Uh, yep, Jessica Wilson Music on Facebook. Um, the easiest way to book me for any gig is to just go online, W www.jessicawilson.ca and there's a contact tab um, questions, comments, bookings and it goes right to uh, my manager and then he kind of talks to me and then I book and cool. then it's a great time <laughs> it's a good time are you thinking that you're going to actually be able to make some money out of this? 
I hope so. It's never really about the money for me. It's more about um, meeting the fans, I guess, if you want to call them that. Um, but if the road takes me there, and if one day I am making money off of it, that would be great. Jessica Wilson is my guest. She played the live bumpers today. You know the Jim Fannin show is her tradition. Always has live musicians come in and do the bumper music. So Jessica was a guest today. And to 105.7 crew, yeah, we booked her first, and not because she won the freaking contest, okay? Because she's a rock star anyways. Jim, you're doing a great job. Doug from Port Colburn, thank you very much. Hey, fan man, Jessica is awesome on the guitar. Niagara's young talent rocks. <laughs> Thanks for your time today. We'll be back next week at noon. Who we got in next week? Juliet. Juliet Dunn is in next week. She's going to rock some jazz out for us next week. So we will have her playing some live bumper music. Thanks to Alicia for running the board and Jessica Wilson for coming in. I'm Jim Fan, and we'll see you next week.